to do a video on this. If any of you guys have this Harbor Freight uh, bead breaker, Pittsburgh bead breaker, and you've been trying to break a bead uh, either on the car tire or motorcycle tire, well, this is how I support it. I just back the car up right onto that outer edge over there because uh, if you were to try to break the bead, just having it just laying on the floor like that, just normal, what's going to happen is that back end is going to lift up on you. But if you take the time, back the car up right over that right there, put your wheel on. Well, with the motorcycle, you need to have some boards under there to support it so the disc doesn't touch or remove your disc, whichever one. But the car tire, you can just throw it right on there. And, um, and then you can just put that down. You'll pop the bead. You'll probably just want to stand on the end kind of just like this but the tire would be here you'll stand on it okay stand on that edge of the tire then you can take this part and you can break your bead I'll actually try and do a video on um, actually doing that with one of the spare car tires I got around here so but this is just a short one for my Facebook buddies for you guys I don't know if any of you have ever looked at this or thought about this or if you have it but yeah that's a great way to do it all right you just back up the car right up on there man you support that one two three boom you got the bead broken on both sides and you can start taking the time all right so to continue now i have the tire set up i do have some wood underneath which i can show you real quick set up just like that angled in so that it supports the edge of the wheel and your rotors don't touch that metal down there because you don't want that touching so now if you want to you can put a little spray on there if you want I usually don't because I got the beads on there so uh, I gotta get in that middle one I just lightly put it up against the tire it does touch the rim a little bit but you just take your time and push down and you just check and make sure that your rotor is not touching which is not which is good and then you push down I take my time I don't really rush this I'm putting pressure on the bottom with my foot and if I lift my foot I take the pressure off of the arm here which you can't see so let me back up a little bit all right so I just changed the angle a little bit so you see you saw the other part with I'm starting to break it take your foot you want to put a little pressure on here you know you keep it nice keep it nice and even as I begin to apply pressure here and it's starting to push the bead down okay you take your time don't rush it all right it's starting to separate take your time and there you go all right and that's it and as you saw uh, the video I'll put before this that I recorded with my phone I support the back end over here with the car tire with the car itself that way if need be that way um, the rear end of this thing isn't isn't lifting up on you and that's basically how I use it that's basically how I support this uh, Harbor Freight bead balancer so I can break the, the beads on my motorcycle tires my car tires whatever the heck I need to break um, and it worked great. All right. Thanks for watching.